Oggi siamo a Germantown, nella Today we are in Germantown, Wisconsin, in the United States of America, and we will find out how the most powerful outboard engines in the world are made, and how they work, and how well they perform. Sono costruiti da Seven Marine, una piccola azienda... They are built by Seven Marine, a small family company that has managed to make what the other great builders had not dared to do, a 627 horsepower outboard motor. By bringing together the expertise and skills of professionals and companies of the highest level, they have produced a monster of power. This the whole thing was really born out of passion and it was born to change and revolutionize what the outboard experience is and what we felt it should be. We saw that there were opportunities to improve style, to improve refinement and to deliver big torque and big power in an outboard package that could change what an outboard boat is to make it what it should be. And that's a mission that we started back in 2010. It's something that we felt embraced by the market, and it's something that we're very excited to be on the journey, continuing redefining what outboards are and looking at what the future might hold now. The first test of the Submarine engine was a pretty interesting time. It was in 2011, June. We had uh, been working tirelessly over the course of about 18 months from this is an idea to here's a plan, will the market accept it, to okay, Let's design, working through the design process and then prototyping. And it all came together on the back of a 30-foot test boat that we put together and we're working around the clock with the team of engineers and technicians and went out for the first test drive in June of 2011. The engine performed nearly flawlessly. In fact, it was at that time that we learned that the engine works perfect as long as the rigging in the boat is perfect. And I personally did the fuel system in the boat and it was not perfect. <laughs> so, but in June of 2011, we did our first sea trial right here in Wisconsin on Lake Michigan. And we had a 30 foot boat that we removed two Yamaha OSX saltwater series V6s. And we installed one seven Marine 557 four stroke. And we were able to improve efficiency, improve top speed performance, improve carrying capacity and begin a full test regiment that really began the beginning of the validation cycle for Seven Marine. Seven Marine was founded in 2010 by Rick Davis, one of the great boat engine experts, and his sons are developing the business. Who produces the monoblock? This is the uh, General Motors Gen 4 V8. Uh, it's a 6.2-liter engine used in the automobiles, the popular Corvette and Cadillac CTS V models. Uh, this engine produces 556 horsepower in the automobile, uh, but we had to tailor make it for Marine. And this is a powerhead assembly that's getting ready to go onto the outboard unit. And so we thought we'd give you a, a picture and a little description of what we have here. How have the performances been improved? A special supercharger intercooler to the top, which cools it with seawater. The unique thing about this outboard motor is that there's no seawater coming through the engine itself. Uh, the engine is cool with glycol, like an automobile engine, and then we close cool it with a separate circuit, much like an inboard or a closed cool stern drive. So this technology is really a combination of stern drive and outboard, but it's unique in that it's the only outboard motor with a crankshaft mounted in a horizontal manner in, in the outboard package. What's so special about this gearbox? The power then comes through the input shaft, comes down through a cascading set of gears, and then forward into the ZF transmission. And this ZF transmission is unique because this transmission turns the power downward through a 90 degree set of gears to the gear case below. And the other magic thing about this transmission, it's the only outboard transmission with hydraulic clutches. So we have a hydraulic clutch in the front, 
and a hydraulic clutch in the rear that are electronically controlled via ECM through an electronic plug. So it's all electronically controlled via oil pressure from an oil pump, which is very, very natural for ZF. This is normal for how ZF shifts transmissions, and that's what we chose to use in the outboard because this transmission unit is very, very strong and very capable of delivering this kind of power. They also chose ZF Marine to control the 627 horses. All the electronics for the commands are made at the Arco factory in Italy. Uh, the interesting thing about our gear housing is that all of the shifting is done above in the ZF transmission that we talked about before with the wet clutches. So once the shifting function is completed, all the gear case has to do is turn the power towards the propeller shaft, but it does that in a very unique way. What we do is unique and only done on this model of outboard by Seven Marine. Uh, what we bring is we have two gears above, and these gears we call split the torque. So half the torque or power is going through this shaft, and half the torque or power is going through this shaft. But since the shafts turn in opposite direction, we can then mount two pinion gears, one turning one way, one turning the other way, but they then touch the output gears at the front and at the back, so these gears then turn together. So all of this is rigidly connected by the gearing system to turn the propeller shaft in either the forward direction or the rear direction but there's no clutching going on in the gear housing. What that allows us to do is run smaller gears in terms of the torpedo hydrodynamics. This torpedo is only 120 millimeters in diameter, which is about the size of torpedoes on 200 horse outboards. Any outboard bigger than 200 is likely to have a much bigger gear housing. But we're delivering 627 horsepower through a 120 millimeter torpedo, which gives us very, very good efficiency and very good speed to get through the water very efficiently. For the design, for design, who was the inspiration? And these colors, they remind me of an Italian boat. The style of Seven is very, very important. As we continue to expand the outboard experience, to really push on luxury and performance together is very, very important. So design inspirations such as Ferrari or Pagani, um, Bentley uh, to be very, very stylish and very classy. So to have energy in the style is important. To have it look uh, lightweight with some sharpness gave us the opportunity to develop a style where outboards really haven't gone before. So the Spectra Blade lighting that we have, the opportunity for the clients to add different colors to the outboard motor to be an extension of their overall design concept for the boat that they're putting them on really gives us the opportunity to make some unique statements for outboard power. Why the name Seven Marine? A lot of people are very interested in where did the name Seven come from? Why is it Seven Marine? Seven was my racing number when I grew up racing 135cc two-stroke uh, carts all over the East Coast in WKA here in the United States. And the seven number always did very well for me, able to win regional and national and grand national championships. So it served me very well. And so when we were discussing what would we name the world's most powerful outboard motor, we thought that a winning number would be a good idea. And so seven became the brand for Seven Marine. And it represents for us our philosophy, not only to design the best and the desire to be the best, 
but also to win. And now that Volvo Penta has become the majority shareholder in this company, what will happen? We're extremely excited about this new announcement of Seven Marine becoming part of the Volvo Penta family. Volvo Penta is an exciting company. They've been extremely professional in inboards and in stern drives. They've revolutionized the inboard business with the pod drive. And believe it or not, they were in the outboard business back in the 70s. So for us to have the opportunity to bring Volvo Penta into the outboard business and do it while revolutionizing the market from a technology perspective is really in keeping with the DNA of Volvo Penta and of Seven Marine. So we're extremely excited about that opportunity. The drivers that we had as Seven Marine was to do something that was customer focused. We felt that if we did the right thing for our customers, it would be the right thing for our employees and it would allow this company to continue to expand. In order to do that, what we were after was global service infrastructure. We feel Volvo Penta is the best equipped at doing that worldwide. Um, we're just working today with an opportunity in Qatar, and now we can look at how's Volvo Penta doing business in Qatar. We're excited about the European market. Volvo Penta is a huge leader. We're contacted by boat companies out of Norway, Sweden, France, and, and all across Europe. So we really are excited, and that was what we were looking for. I'm now quoting into Mexico, Colombia, South America, Central America, Mediterranean markets, the Caribbean markets, and all this in a week. Really, in, in the last two weeks, this, is, this has come out. We're saying, okay, this is exactly what we were after. How do we take the revolutionized outboard experience and broaden it to a broader segment with a customer-driven focus? And that's what Volvo Penta was after. How do we drive technology, focus on the customer, and move the market forward? And those were really the fundamental dynamics that we were after. We're seeing it's really working out, and we're really excited about the future.